Yo, yo, we are back in After Effects. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to add smooth motion or flow to your edits easily inside the After Effects. And to do it, we'll be using a pretty underrated plugin called Blur More Curves. It is one of the plugins from Sapphire, so it's really dope. And I'll be showing you how to use it and add some smooth zooms and some essential flow to your edits pretty easily. So let's just get into it. So to start off in my timeline, you can see, for example, I have have like four clips pulled up those are pretty slow so we're gonna add some movement in here so firstly to apply just select your first clip and just add the effect as underscore blur more curves right there you can see after you install it still looks something like this and just hit enter to apply it onto your clip now in fx control we can see we have a lot of options in here so i'm gonna go through and show you all of it so firstly we have center x and y what it does is just it's just like an anchor point you can adjust you can just do it straight from your preview panel as well or you can do it from here as well so for the center x i'm gonna bring it up so it's like on my artist face and readjust it a little bit like that what it does is it's just like a normal anchor point so if i like zoom in it will zoom into his face or anything that you like put at the anchor point on another really useful one in here is g this what it does is a simple zoom if i like zoom in you can see it's like a simple zoom but the name is kind of different so don't confuse on that and as i said readjusted the anchor point so it's like zoom into our artist face directly so we don't have to like play around with position to match it all then we have simple rotate it's really like self-explanatory you can see it like it rotates and shift x and shift y is just position you can see just uh, x position and shift y is y position so something like that and this certain duration and all those stuff are for motion blur i guess so you don't really have to worry about those because the motion blur settings are really dope already and another cool one in here is brightness what it does is just a brightness like an exposure so if you want to make like some flashes really quickly you can do it from here you don't have to like apply or exposure and go through that process and lastly in here we have warp x and warp y what it does is just it's just like a motion tile so if you set it to like reflect or tile reflect or tile and if i like shift x you can see it like reflects and we don't have like black edges so that's really cool because we don't have to like apply motion tile and that's all for the options so now let's go through like making some keyframes and making the animation so firstly in here i want like a zoom in animation to start with so i'm gonna hit the stopwatch in d this and select my clip and hit u to bring up all of my keyframes and put the first keyframe around to the last around here and then you can just zoom into his face like this zoom it all in so something like that then all you gotta do is easy those keyframe to make it smoother and to take it to the next step we're gonna go over to the graph and just make a simple graph like this and now we can see already the motion blur looks crazy which i really like about this plugin the motion blur are really beautiful i really love the motion blur but anyways i think a simple graph like this should work and if i like exit out you can see we have this really smooth zoom in animation really easily as well it looks so smooth if i like compare it with like a transform effect and like reposition the anchor point its anchor point is not that good as well something like that and just hit the stop watch on scale this is like an example easy ease and let's just make a same graph on it as well and bring up the shorter angle now we can see the transform doesn't look that smooth at all it's like really laggy even though i have a good graph on it let me show you real quick you can see this is a pretty good graph but it doesn't look that smooth at all but if i like disable this and show you the blur more curves you can see the animation is a lot more smoother and really like eased out which i really love so let's just remove transform for now it was just for example so now we have another clip right here so to go on to another clip i want to make a slight transition so for that we're gonna hit the stopwatch on shift x 
Yes, hit the stop watch on shift X, put the zero keyframe around the middle and go over to the last frame. And we're gonna bring down the value to negative, so like negative 2000. Yeah, negative 2000 is pretty good, like around there. Then you can just widen up the keyframe more if you like and just ease those all of the keyframe, go into graph and make sure you're in value graph actually and make a graph like this. So, a simple graph like this, and you can already see the more blur are really smooth and now you have played through you can see it like buttery smooth which looks so cool bro blur mccoy is really goated for real but anyways we have the transition going on on one clip but it's still on the another so to fix that we're gonna add blur more in here as well blur more curves then just go to warp x and warp y and just reset to reflect and go to shift x put this keyframe around the middle as well and you can just put the anchor point on your artist face as well and in the first frame just bring up the value on the positive so so around 2000 in positive and you can just ease those keyframes make a same graph on it so a simple tight graph like that looks cool for a graph something like this now if we see a look at the transition you can see it looks really smooth it's really smooth i swear like it looks so smooth the only problem that i can see is the motion tile is like too much so we can fix that by just like repositioning the anchor point and we can just zoom it into our subject face a little so something like that and now if you take a look it looks so smooth i think the scaling up is just too much so let's just lower it down to something like that so now you can see that looks super smooth right there we're gonna make another transition on going on to another cube right here so we're gonna make a simple zoom out transition as we zoomed in already on our footage so it will be really easy to do so hit the stop button and read this put the keyframe around the middle as well the first keyframe and go over to the last and you can just bring up your amount on the g-disc to like 1.5 around something like that then you can just ease those keyframes and make sure one of those keyframes is on the end and then go over to the graph and make a simple graph like this and another plugin i really like is flow when it comes to like making graphs and stuff you can see we have a graph preset you can make like graph preset and just save it so it's really dope if you want to like make a quick graph but we're gonna do it manually for now so a graph like this looks cool to me now we have the zoom out right there but we're gonna make a zoom in on here so let's just add a bar more curves in here as well and just set the anchor point to his face right there hit the stop watch on g dist and you can just bring up the keyframe put it towards the last and you can just scale it in something like that then you can just ease those keyframes go into graph and make some graph like this and now that easily you can see we have this smooth zoom out transition it looks so seamless you can even like notice the transition which is really good for adding flow to your edit so we have our last clip right here so in this i'm gonna do something different i'm gonna like zoom in and zoom out on his face so let's just add like blur more curves and just set the keyframe keyframe i mean the anchor point around his face when we want the zoom in so hit the stop us and do this put it a bit like further around there and you can just zoom it in now so something like that and you can just widen up the keyframe a little bit so something like that then you can just easy ease those keyframe go into graph and make a graph like this so a simple s curve like this looks cool so it like zooms in as you can see and at the end i want it to zoom out as well so let's just set the value back to one and go into graph again and make a similar graph on it so something like that now you can really see the motion is really smooth you can leave it right here if you don't want to add further effects and stuff but you can add some six into this to spice it up so i'm gonna show you how to do that as well so to do that we're gonna use six sauce so let's just open up six sauce right here and dock it around here let's just bring it wide open something like that now we can see we have six us open up if you don't already know this is like a plugin that brand made to add six and impact to your music video really easily to your music videos or any type of video you are working with i saw people use it for like car edits and stuff as well and like other reels and stuff as well so it looks so cool so i'm gonna go through and showcase you this plugin as well and if you want to download this got you guys with the offer 
so if you use the code asim you can get seven days free trial to try it out and see if you like it and if you don't you can cancel it anytime but you can see now in keyframe we have all of these effects in here i have my own as well if you want to download these presets that I made, like the, these are like five of my favorite presets that I made. So I'll link it in the description. You can just install it really quickly on your Sixos and use it. But anyways, starting off, let's just go with like best one on the beginning. And it will be instantly applied to your footage. And if I take a look, you can see that easily we have a crazy shake right here. That looks so cool right there. I think the flicker amplitude is a little bit too much for me for now. So let's just set it like one and keep in mind these are all the presets that i made myself like these the asim's one he's preset as well but i'm gonna use mine for now just to showcase you guys and right where this transition happens we can add like a twitch one in here and as always you can just play with like this keyframes and stuff so let me just widen it a bit like that and now you can see we have these like clean six which goes hard with blur more curves to be honest if you see this like this looks so clean it's called awesome twitch so you can use it as well and in here a vertical shake in here damn that gives a lot of energy you can see that's hard bro that's hard and lastly in here a dope one like whip or so whip transition like that so you can see after adding the shake it looks so much like energetic so if you want to label up your music video and add some crazy shakes to your music video i'll leave this plugin down below you you can use my code if you download from my link it also helps me to make more videos like this and it's available for free guys so you can just check it out and if you don't like it you can cancel anytime but anyways my final effect looks something like this so that's it for today's video guys if you like this video please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos like this because i try to put in effort in my every single video and try to do my best so i would really appreciate it i'll link down six sauce down below so so you can check it out it's really really dope so yeah see you in next video peace